Bang! Neebs Knives. I'm Jared, and we have two Ganzos here. So the first one is the Ganzo FH922. Now, I've seen this on Bee's Blades. Shout out to Bee's Blades, and I used his link, one, to help support his channel, but two, because, you know, I haven't gotten a Ganzo in probably two years, possibly longer, but it's been a long time since I've one experienced any new ganzos but two have bought any and i'm i'm curious have they improved um uh, are they still the same did they get worse and right off the bat i just unboxed these by the way this thing is super super snappy the detent and the flipper tab look at this flipper tab so comfortable they did this flipper tab so perfect especially with it being center of the pivot it's slightly higher than the center of the pivot nice strong detent like failing this thing is near impossible i mean this thing is i would have to cheat like this to to fail this but man this this is so snappy dropping it the action on the unlock is basically falls shut and this is fresh out of the box so imagine after a hundred or so flips this thing is insanely good. The ergos are very neutral, so anybody's hand is going to be able just to grab it, and it's going to be comfortable. We have a wire clip that is reversible with a tab that goes, you know, that you can, a filler tab, basically, which I think they look cool. Some people don't like them. I think they look awesome. But, man, yeah, this thing is so good. I kind of like how I can I can flip it by putting my finger here and letting the jimping snag my finger and just yank down or I can push button it or I can you know light switch it. There's so many ways this flipper tab is so comfortable. You just you're not um it's it's not shaped for just one type of flip. I like that. Um lock up rock solid stupid smooth i haven't oiled it or anything so i can only imagine liners have milling in it so the weight is pretty good and this is d2 steel now the geometry the blade shape's amazing i love this blade shape very very good blade shape um i would say man this is one of the most useful blade shapes why it's it's a spear point uh but it has a swedge on top so you can see how the blade shape basically does the same shape from the edge to the spine until the tip very very cool it'll be very good for utility cuts slicing everything let's get to the next one i'm impressed now this one is the 41 now this one i think came out last year i'm not positive but i didn't get it i didn't get it even though i wanted to so bad um, I just was like, man, I got to get off the Ganzo kick. They're just, they're too good. And I don't want to be only buying Ganzos. Ooh, ooh, I didn't even mean to, ooh, that thing is very, very good. Oh man, that is so smooth. The detent is lighter than this one. So this one has a stronger detent, but it's still super reliable, super snappy. I'm like trying to fail it right now. I could fail this one, but it's not easy. Now, stupid smooth on the drop. The flipper tab is a little bit different than the this one, but still nice and comfortable. More of a light switcher, but you could absolutely push button it. But it's more comfortable to light switch it. Ergo, super comfortable. Again, very neutral ergos. This one, I feel the clip more on the... I do feel the clip more on this one, but not a big deal at all it is reversible deep carry clip um access to the lock bar very very good i love that their detents are so early compared to the lock bar so when i unlock it it's always past the detent i like that nice comfortable flip yeah this thing's awesome now how's the plunge grinds the plunge grinds are okay not the best but, you know, you see where they land. Uh, well, actually, this one lands pretty close to the edge. But you could get a few, a couple sharp rings off of it before it'll hit the plunge grind. At least one good one. Um, if you lay back the angle, you know, you'll get like one or two. But you can still get a good sharpening on a couple good sharpenings. This one's more of a drop point now. So we have a drop point blade shape. Also equally as good. 
Very good for utility cuts, very good for slicing and push cuts, and the way both of these knives have a straight back on the handle, you can get lots of leverage into a cut while distributing all the pressure across the, the your hand, you know, evenly, instead of it being, you know, like a weird shape and pushing harder into one part of your hand. Now, the lock bar, like I said, the access is really good. Centering, really good. The blade to handle ratio, uh, possibly a little shorter than you'd prefer, but man, these knives are so affordable. I got both of these for like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. These things are super affordable. I will link them down below. If you guys are wanting to get any of these, linked right in the description. It's hard to beat, man. It's hard to beat these because they're obviously, I can already tell you right now, they're going to wind up in my knife. Well, this one would be made in 2021. This one, I think, was 2020. So this one would wind up in, you know, one of the best budget knives of 2021. It's hard to beat. I'll say that, man. It's going to be hard to beat that. It's just so good for... This is the thing, is that it's good for everybody. Like, just about anybody could pick this up and this be a good knife for them. Um, the action, you, you'd be, it'd be so hard to fail. So anybody could deploy it. Anybody could unlock it and close it. The blade shape is very neutral, like meaning it's just a, a, a normal blade shape anybody can use. Um, yeah. And the price is right for any budget. Um, this is about the best bang for your buck you could get. I mean, how can you beat that? And it's D2. What is this one? D2 as well. The geometry, is it the thinnest? No, but it's, it's very acceptable. I mean, I would never complain at geometry like this. Very, very nice, man. This thing... They're impressive, man. They're impressive. And this is why I got sucked into the Ganzo thing in the beginning, because after experiencing one, um, it was like, and they, they always like lasted. It wasn't like I unboxed them and they were good in a week of use. They went to crap. No, they, they held strong for a long, long time. So, and then I already can hear, you don't even got to tell me in the comments. I hear the comments, clones clones these are both in-house designs first of all number two a clone is a counterfeit what is a counterfeit a counterfeit is a knife pretending to be another knife ganzo from my experience never did that the knives that they had that looked like spider coast yes they stole their designs absolutely stealing designs but they did like spider coast with access locks there's no, there's no spider co with an access lock. They use compression locks. So, yes, they kind of mixed it up and took the access lock from Benchmade and the blade shape and uh, everything from spider co. But they never tried to make it seem like it was a spider co. You know, um, and if you want to call that um, thieving, that's fine. You know, I accept that. But, but clone means they're trying, they're pretending to be that knife. So you can't call it a clone. Cloning is like if they took the spider co, used a compression lock, and put spider co on there. They didn't do that. They branded it Ganzo all over it. You would never expect, ex you would never think it was anything else but the Ganzo. So in that case, you know, I, I it that's not um, that's that to me personally, that is not uh cloning. Now, however, I don't like that. Of course I don't like that. Now, like the, the one that looked kind of like the Benchmade 940. That thing is nothing like the 940 aside from the shape. You know, we'll have 100 knives out here with the same blade shape and nobody will say anything. But they had the same blade shape, but they also had other knives that were shaped like other knives. So they, I guess they opened that door, right? They opened up the door because it's like you're making knives that look like spider coes. So now you have one that has the same shape as a 940. We're going to say you clone the 940, even though it's twice as big and... um you, you know, the handle isn't the same and so many different features. Like it's, you know, you would never mistaken that thing for a 940 and it has Ganzo written all over it. But even I have a 940 and I have a Ganzo and I've even done a video on the two and you can see it's more like, um, what the heck is that 940? The one that looks, it's like a giant 940. I can't think of the name of it. Um, the Contigo, the Contigo. So it's kind of, it's more like the Contigo 
than the the 940, but still not the exact same. Anyways, I'm ranting and raving, but I do agree though. They they stole designs and they used them as their own. And supposedly they, you know, even though they're still selling those knives, you know, the ones that were like basically stolen designs, um, they, uh, I don't know for sure, but I heard that they're only doing in-house designs now. They're not doing that anymore. But I agree. If you don't like, you know, supporting them when they're using other people's designs and taking inspiration from other people's designs, well, don't. But when they do knives that are their own in-house designs, then that would be the time to support them to kind of show. Not saying support them as a company, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's better to encourage right them to make their own designs than to encourage them to do other people's designs. So... That's kind of the way I look at it. I'd rather encourage good behavior than bad behavior. Now, some people are just going to say, I'm not going to mess with them at all, which, you know, is acceptable. You know, whatever. You do whatever you want. Um, I say that uh, they do good quality knives, really good quality knives. And if you only have like 30 bucks to spend, you almost, you can't go wrong with them. They're, they're so well built. They're such good knives. The action is insane. You're going to get to experience high quality action for a budget. And, you know, and the, and you're also supporting them using their own designs. So, you know, you're supporting better behavior rather than buying their their designs that were taken from other companies. So there you guys go. I love you guys. And I thank you guys for watching. Links are below. Peace.